Hi everybody, it's a wonderful time of the year, just a few days to go and um, it'll be Christmas, an occasion when we all like to be at home with our family and our friends I'm sure. And I can recall many years ago uh, getting to the end of a, a call up with the Rhodesian army, it was about this time of the year, and you know those last few days of the call up, always very stressful, you know you've been counting off the days and you've been thinking, well, I've made it so far, I've made it so far, and just a few more days to go, and if I can get through this, I'll be walking out through the gates of the, uh, the battalion HQ, and I'll, I'll be home. And uh, that particular call-up, in addition to biting and stinging, crawling insects, and poisonous snakes, and bad-tempered animals, and dangers from falling down rock faces, and dangers from crossing swollen rivers, Dangers from enemy action, dangers from illness, dangers from vehicular accidents because those things also happened, dangers from meeting your own side in the bush and not knowing it's them. In addition to all those sort of things that just seemed to go on all the time and were ever a threat to your existence, that particular call up we had an additional problem. We'd been called together, and if I can remember correctly, it was while we were camped near the Makuti police station. And a gentleman came along, and uh, we were all called together as a company. And he said, uh, listen guys, we have some very reliable information that every sectorial commander in the Gook army has been given instructions to try and capture at least one Rhodesian soldier. Well, of course, this <laughs> got our attention. And he said, uh, and I've come to speak to you about it. And the first thing and the most important thing I want you to remember in all of this is that don't be a hero. Don't be a hero. If it should be that somehow you do get captured, and we think that they'll probably try and do this during a, a vehicle ambush. If you do get captured, okay, we'll know about it soon enough. Uh, that's, that's for sure. Just try and slow them down a little. That's all. Just... Uh, give us a chance to, to, to get to them. And if there's a punch up before they get you across the border, just keep your heads down, okay? We'll try and get you out of it. If they get you out of the country, <clears throat> just prepare yourself for a bit of a rough time. They're gonna knock you about a little bit. Uh, you can talk about anything that's happened on any of your previous uh, uh, call-ups. It wouldn't, it's not gonna help them very much. And uh, as far as the current operations that you're on, Try and give us, give away as little information as, as possible. You're not likely to do any harm in any event because you guys are only aware of what's happening in front of you and you, in your own area. You, you, you haven't got a, an, an awful lot of information that you can give them. He says, but uh, the idea is they don't want information from you. What they want to do is they want to parade you before the world. There's some conference coming up next year and uh, the gooks would dearly love to put you in front of a camera and uh, they, the first prize for them is if you can just tell everybody what a wonderful experience this has been for you that you have now had your eyes opened as it were and you can see the evils of uh, this regime that you've been fighting for and you've had an opportunity to see the, uh, the patriotic front forces and you've realized that the Rhodesian army don't have a hope against them. And uh, you're appealing to your, your comrades, to the other soldiers back in Rhodesia, lay down your arms, cause the government to capitulate. There's no point in fighting any further. That's what they want you to say. Well, you just say that if you think it's gonna make them happy. Don't worry about us. <laughs> We're gonna be laughing our heads off at you in any event. We're not gonna believe what you say. But um, bear in mind that there's a very real possibility that if they do capture you, that after they've paraded you and, 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 and done all that sort of stuff, um, that there will be negotiations for your release because we have a, a number of guys that they'd like to get back. So we imagine that there would be an exchange, uh, an offer of, of, of an exchange. So you'll probably be back here eventually. Uh, so, something good may come of it. Keep your eyes and your ears 
open so that you can uh, attend a debrief here and maybe we can we can get some good information that we wouldn't have been able to get uh, in any other circumstances. Well, <laughs> I'm happy to say that uh, we survived that. Uh, for my part, I'll tell you one thing, I, uh, I wasn't prepared to be captured. I swore blind to myself that I'd fight tooth and nails, I'd fight to the last ground, I'll fight them with my fists, uh, they can kill me, but I'm not going to suffer the humiliation of being uh, put in front of the world and having to talk nonsense like that and how wonderful I think communism is and, and all of that kind of rubbish. I, um, I, I just did not have the emotional makeup uh, to go through an experience like that. So I was glad when we got to the end of the call up and um, sure enough we, we all said goodbye to each other, wished each other a Merry Christmas and uh, we were safely home that year. And so, um, in like manner, I'd like to uh, wish you, uh, all of you, uh, and your families and your loved ones, a, a very Merry Christmas. And um, 2020 has not been so good, I don't think for, for everybody, um, but I hope that the coming year, 2021, will be absolutely super, will be great, will be a complete contrast to what we've had this year. So I wish you luck, wish you well, I wish you success, I wish you all the very best. Isn't this a lovely setting? You know, it seems a world removed from uh, the Rhodesian bush war, uh, but it isn't, not really. Just 10 minutes down the road is where it all began, way back in the 1800s. This part of the world where I'm sitting now is where the very notion and the idea, the concept, the ideal of Rhodesia was born. And maybe next year we'll, we'll look at the history uh, of, of that country because we won't really understand the bush war, what it's all about unless we understand the early history. And it is something so fascinating, really wonderful, a remarkable story. And I hope to be able to share some of that with you. In the meantime, keep well, stay safe, and thank you very, very much again for all your support.